Hello friends in today's episode we learn about five unbelievable uses or the benefits of onions onion skins and onion juice in gardening especially the onion peel fertilizer onion pesticide and a new secret rooting hormone recipe to root your plant cuttings quickly and successfully all that's coming up Well, onion skin and peels are usually thrown into the bin, but starting today and after watching this episode till the end you will never ever throw them again. Onion skin and peels have antioxidant and antimicrobial properties and contain many useful substances like sulfur, quercetin, potassium, phosphorus, zinc, iron, iodine, vitamins, pectins, saponins, flavonoids and so on. Have you ever wondered why tears start flowing out of your eyes as soon as we start chopping onions? This is onion chemistry. Before we start with the five uses of onions in gardening, let's quickly know the scientific reason behind this interesting scene. While chopping onions, cells inside the onion are broken down and the gas that comes out forms sulfenic acid. This acid gets mixed with enzymes and forms a gas called propane thiol S oxide. When this gas reaches our eyes, it gets mixed with our tears and forms sulfuric acid which causes irritation of the tear glands and that's it. Well, now let's list out the benefits of onions for plants and gardening. On number 5, composting. If you're not using earthworms for making your compost, you can drop onion skins and peels a little deeper into the compost bin and get a nutrient-rich compost in the final result. But you should avoid adding them into your worm compost bin because earthworms hate onions and similar odorous substances. On number 4, mulching. For beginners, a mulch is a layer of material applied to the surface of the soil for benefits like preserving soil moisture, reducing weed growth and so on. You can use onion skins for mulching and then the dry onion peels will decompose soon and enrich your soil with potassium and calcium which is so good for your plant growth. On number 3, onion pesticide recipe. If you do organic vegetable gardening without using any chemical pesticides and fertilizers, you will certainly realize the importance of these organic recipes, especially if you do not have the universal organic pesticide like the great neem oil. Do not worry, you can make a potent organic pesticide using onion and other stuff. Take a large onion and drop it into a kitchen blender. Then add 4 fresh cloves of garlic into this then add 2 teaspoons of red chili powder then add 1 teaspoon of cinnamon powder blend this into a fine paste by adding a little bit of water Now add 2 cups of water to this and mix well and allow it to steep overnight. Then in the morning strain out the liquid using a nylon cloth or a fine sieve to get your pesticide concentrate. You can even store this concentrate in a refrigerator. To apply as a pesticide use it in 1 is to 5 dilution in water. That is to 1 cup of this pesticide add 5 cups of water. And most importantly do not forget to add some 10 drops of liquid detergent soap for the surfactant effect and also to coat the leaves and retain the pesticide effect for a longer time. Use this twice weekly until all the pests are eradicated. This will successfully kill common pests like the aphids, mealybugs, white flies and many others. Then on number 2 onion peel fertilizer there are two methods to make onion peel fertilizer one is to boil the onion peels for few hours in water and the other method is to soak the onion peels in water for 24 hours some experts do not recommend boiling so take 2 to 3 handful of onion peels and drop it in 1 liter of water and allow it to soak for 24 hours after 24 hours strain out the liquid and then use it as a liquid fertilizer You can use it without dilution or with further dilution like 1:1 in water especially if you regularly fertilize your plants. 
Use it once in 15 days to see the effect in about 3 months. On number 1. Rooting Hormone Recipe Not really a rooting hormone but you can call it a rooting agent. Onion due to its antimicrobial properties when mixed along with other stuff will certainly improve the results of rooting of your plant cuttings. To prepare this recipe, take 1 fourth onion, add half a cup of fresh aloe vera juice extracted from a leaf. Add some cinnamon or willow bark into this. It's better to have it pre-soaked in a cup of water for about 24 hours. Then add this cup of water into the blender and make it into the fine paste or solution. Then strain out this liquid to use it as a rooting agent. Just dip the cuttings into this solution or apply this with your finger and plant the cuttings. You can watch a detailed episode on the 10 natural rooting agents you can use to add into this recipe or even experiment this recipe with even more stuff. Check that out from this end screen link circled right here. Please give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful and also share this video and comment below with your queries and feedback. Consider subscribing if you are new to this channel. Happy gardening!